Okay, in this video we're going to talk about negatively skewed distributions, which at first sounds like it's a bad thing, but actually could be um, a very good thing. In, in this case, with our um, scenario here, we're looking at our, our raw scores over here and our frequencies over here. Um, we're looking at salary in thousands. So we're looking at how many people um, had a salary last year of, um, well, nothing, or 10,000, um, 20,000, 30,000, all the way down to um, 90,000. So again, these 90s are um, just symbolic of how many thousands of dollars that person made. And over on the right-hand side, you have your frequency. So only 10 people made nothing that year. 20 people made um, 10,000 that year, uh, 30 people made 20,000 that year, and 100 people um, made 90,000 that year. So if we graph it over here in our, in our, um, in our histogram, <coughs> you'll see that, well, we have um, who's, who earned uh, zero, right, thousand, or, um, you know, a little bit is, is only like 10, right? Well, we'll go about there for 10. And we had 20 people earn uh, 10,000, so um, a little bit better, right? So and again, this is a, on a continuous variable, so salary money um, is always on a continuous, so we're making a histogram, not a bar graph. And then we had, uh, let's see here, third people make 20,000, so we're gonna keep climbing, and it just keeps climbing, so 40 um, people made um, 30,000, right? And we had 50 people make 40,000, and we had 60 people make 50,000, we had 70 people make 60,000, we had um, 80 people make 70,000, right, and it's just going to kind of keep, ooh, that was a little messy, um, climbing and climbing and climbing, okay, and again, continuous data dictates that we make a histogram, so we're going to just kind of fill in all of this. The height of the bar corresponds to how many people, and the width of it is, um, for this case, 10. So we have it in tens. Um, now, this is a negatively skewed distribution because if you draw a line at the very, very top and slide it down, the, um, the arrow is pointing to the negative side of the number line. Okay, so again, keep in mind that if this is like zero, right, this is our, our midpoint of this graph here, um, numbers, number line go more positive this way. So we're going to have like one, two, three, four, like that. And on this side, it's going to go more negative. So negative one, negative two, negative three. If the, if the um, line, if the arrow of the tail is pointing to the left towards the negative side of the of the never of the negative of the number line. You would say it's a negatively skewed distribution. But if for our uh, example here, that's actually a really good thing, right? We want people to make a lot of money. You know, in this scenario, we have uh, 90 people that make, um, or sorry, 100 people that make ninety thousand dollars or more. Um, so that's a really good thing because our our scores in, in this case was salary in one hundred or in in thousand dollar increments. So this is a, a good example of how a negatively skewed distribution can actually be a good thing. So don't think negative is always bad. Negative can be good too. It's the same thing with grades. If these were grades um, in on a on an exam, the students would think this is a really good thing because the bulk of the higher scores are piling up on this part of the graph and only very few people scored in, in the low failing range. So this is a good example of a, how a negatively skewed distribution is actually a really good thing.